Christian Harris into the box. He'll try and show. What a shot! Oh! Until you do something like this yourself, you realise, you know, what we probably take for granted. If we're lucky enough to get um, nice biscuits. Senior start and that. Soft drinks, rice pudding. It puts things into perspective like that. That's going to be someone's Christmas day. I would like to receive a basket like that. Whereas at home, we're going to have a, a bigger chicken, you know, and it just, it makes you realise that people in this world are actually struggling and poverty is, is real. Would some people have no food on their table this Christmas without food box? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's really good delivery. It's a magnificent header as... Tea slash coffee. Has coming here opened your eyes? Massively. I think um, you can be quite oblivious to, to what's going on. And... Without this, would people go home? Yes, definitely. Yes. Touch in, free shot for Madoma, good save there by Daniels. Oh, right. Practiced. <laughs> Has it put things in perspective? So having uh, two, two young children, it's like the nappies, you, you take it for granted, you go shopping, you buy your nappies, no matter how much money you have, you still need to buy these things. Um, I think that's something that's put in perspective for me. Welcome to Food Box! It's just over my eyes and it's just, I think the work you do here is actually terrific and Bradford Football Club are very keen to try and support you in that. Well, I think one of the things we'd like to do is, in the same way that we community are asked to drop off non-perishable to supermarkets. We can probably try and do it on a match day. You know, we get crowds of 10, 11,000. And if we can get a good percentage of those bringing on non-perishables, non you can imagine the amount of food and support that you could have here. How hungry are people sometimes? Very hungry. Some of the volunteers who are here every day working super hard and they do it for no money, just the love of what they're doing. Yeah. That is probably one of the most amazing things about this place yeah. and you know that I, I, I'll take away and remember forever because I think it's very very special. What, bring, bring a can of peas to the game? Yes absolutely and as I say I think... And you put some bins around? Yeah absolutely and I think the good thing about it, it can be done outside of Christmas. I mean I think it's this time of year where everybody wants to give and everybody's aware uh, and you would hope they're aware of their next door neighbour and people who need who are isolated and the senior. Um, but it's quite good in January, February, March when people forget about Christmas but those people are still isolated, those people are still old and they're on their own so that's when they need to help probably far more than at any other time of year. We just like to ask everyone to, to give if, if it's money or food it will go a long way and we all know that Christmas is coming up soon and, and no one wants to be left without so I urge, we urge everyone to, to give. We're thinking about establishing a new welfare and support um, part of the project. It's a great cause. Um, hopefully, um, people are in a position where they can donate. And if you can, it'd be, it'd be great if you pick up a bit of extra food and um, drop it in. Or, um, as mentioned before, there's in supermarkets, there's the bins to do it there. And 
it'll, it'll really help and it does go a long way. It's a great idea and obviously if anybody can help in any way that they can then I'm sure it would be much appreciated for everybody here. Please could you give, if possible, to uh, the Council Community Food Box uh, money or food. It will go a long way for people without.